Is there going to be a correction in real estate prices here in Prince Edward Island? Should you wait a year or two before buying your home? That and more in this video coming up. But before we do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, press the little bell symbol beside it, and give the video a thumbs up. So basically, we'll establish a definition for a correction. The stock market, a correction is between 10 and 20 percent, or at least 10 percent. The news medias and different sources have been indicating that the correction may be as much as 15 percent or more across Canada. However, common sense dictates that that's probably not true as Canada has a lot of different markets and one of which performs differently than many is Atlantic Canada, including Prince Edward Island. So essentially, if you look at the sales data over the years, you'll find that PEI didn't really perform like the rest of the country. In fact, in a lot of major centers like Toronto, Southern Ontario, Ottawa, Vancouver, and some places in Alberta, Calgary, and Edmonton, those prices were insane based on the industry and the businesses that those provinces were in. So essentially, what I always think to myself when people ask me to project what's going to happen in the future is one Warren Buffett's and my favorite finance book, which is The Intelligent Investor by Ben Graham. They dedicate pretty well a lot of that book and certainly one chapter minimum to the fact that it is impossible to project markets. And they prove that by going back decades and reanalyzing the data. And the so-called experts that knew everything, sometimes it was a compilation of dozens of them. At the end of the day, they couldn't predict the market. Now, PEI is a really small market. If I had to guess based on my 24 plus years of experience here, I would say prices are going to continue to climb because of two factors. Number one, shortage of inventory. Number two, those people cashing out in Southern Ontario have nowhere else to go in the country that's as beautiful, affordable, and has access to so many lighthouses, beaches, beaches, and golf courses. So of course they're going to look at PEI. They're going to continue to cash out, maybe now more than ever, because that correction's already started in some major centers. But I don't advise you to wait to buy in PEI. I advise you to get a search set up and watch this YouTube channel for listings that aren't on MLS so you can get your foot ahead of everybody else. The real-time search, which I've covered many times, will email you new listings before anybody else knows about them or simultaneous to the agent or broker from every firm, every brokerage. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Press the little bell symbol beside it. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about Prince Edward Island real estate, or PEI in general, put them in the comments below.